An extraordinary feat of human endurance with an enduring legacy for peace and science. The landing of the first Australasian expedition 100 years ago has been marked in a solemn ceremony at Mawson's Huts in Antarctica. The ABC's Karen Barlow reports from Commonwealth Bay. At the home of the blizzard on a windless day, the men of the first Australasian Antarctic expedition landed on this desolate spot on January the 8th, 1912. A grand adventure for the young sons of the youngest sons. It was to be a defining moment for our newly born federation. Led by geologist explorer Douglas Mawson, they battled relentless howling gales to occupy East Antarctica. The men of the Australasian Antarctic expedition were truly heading off the edge of the map when they sailed from Hobart in December. Today, all 32 Mawson expeditioners have been remembered at the site of their sanctuary, including the two men who died, Belgrave Ninnis and Xavier Mertz. Inside the huts are a frozen museum. Everyday objects from 100 years ago are still as they were left. They are reminders of the men, the hardship they endured, all in the name of science. Well, I think of how much we make of the landing at Gallipoli just a few years later. Well, I think the landing at Commonwealth Bay was equally important, perhaps, and as a, a statement of Australian identity. A letter from the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, was read before being placed in a time capsule with messages from school children. The Australasian Antarctic Expedition was the last expedition in the heroic age of exploration, a feat of human endurance, the like of which we may never see again. The men are long gone and the huts have survived as historic relics in this remote, harsh corner of the earth. But 100 years after the Mawson expedition, its legacy lives on. Karen Barlow, ABC News, Mawson's Huts, Antarctica.